name is Anton. I'm co-CEO and co-founder at Anytype. Uh, honored to be here and share our experience of building Anytype with such amazing people. Um, in this talk, I'll share how social use cases for the local first could look like, how we are building them, and which challenges remain. And my local first journey began six years ago when I became fascinated by decentralization. I wanted to build a centralized super app for creatives and tried to figure out how. Blockchains were slow, and you only need them when you need a global consensus. You wouldn't build a chat application using blockchains, right? So I found this video uh, by Orion Henry when he was discussing that we just can connect browsers using WebRTC and local storage. I thought, wow, this is it. Let's just connect this with blockchains, and we will have a working product in 12 months. So six years later, here I am presenting <laughs> what I believe are our baby steps. <laughs> Anytype now is a local first tool that has been used by more than 300,000 people. You can think of it as a notion in Discord had a local first baby. <laughs> Why Anytype now mostly used by small teams and individuals with its full potential being realized in social use cases at greater scale. When I speak about social, I don't mean feed-based product like Twitter or Instagram. I mean something like collaborative wikis, um, chats, or forums. For this, we've created the main format of any type and encrypted space. It's a graph database managed by a group of people. Technically, it's an encrypted DAC. And on the interface level, it's highly customizable. Creators and communities can build these widgets. They're like mini apps. They simplify setup and navigation. You can have a chat widget, a topic, calendar, or whatever mix of type. Let's just see a few examples. This is how community space could look like. You can see widgets with Tags, feature requests, feedback. If you need, you can add more like bag reports or radio. This is another example. Same way creators can customize their spaces. You see widgets with uh, posts, tags, or latest discussions. This is another example how one-to-one -one space could look like. I hope you got the idea. It's just hugely customizable by types uh, and widgets. So these use cases we envision can substitute small subreddit, chat of group of friends, family, or neighbors. And it was about how it looks and let's look under the hood. At the heart of the local first software, it's your data at your fingertips. It's availability, speed, and ownership. It's also very important for social. However, we believe at the center of all social use cases, um, it's your communication channel. This is the bloodline that connects community together uh, and the essence of what they create. This is their main asset. For this, we've created anything protocol. Uh, exactly to support this. Different people here define local first differently, and we call our version no one in between, to highlight it essence. And to make it work, we had few challenges to solve. For example, how to make spaces user-owned and controlled so nobody can stop from accessing them, making the spaces real assets. How to delegate hosting to third parties and be sh being sure that they can read your data. How to make spaces high performant and scalable so they can support tens of thousands of people, networks support billions of people in, the in, in an instant sync. And how to finally <laughs> make spaces work natively on mobile because social experience is crucial, because native mobile experience is um, crucial for social use cases. Let's see some of our solutions. To make it uh, with user-owned keys, we generate BIP39 mnemonic. From there, we generate identities, which are pairs of public keys. With them, you start creating spaces where every change is cryptographically signed and encrypted. You can sync the spaces in a peer-to-peer -peer way, so the code for the client for the node is the same. Currently, it works only in local networks, and we have plans to make it global over specifically designed uh, tunneling protocol. It works, by the way, via VPN. And um, yeah, this uh, basically two things uh, make spaces user-owned, so because you don't need to depend on third party to interoperate. On the encryption, uh, reaching consensus on access control in a peer-to-peer -peer way could be challenging when you have many collaborators in the space. Instead of reinventing blockchain, we abstracted away this logic to consensus nodes. So you can continue seeing spaces in a peer-to-peer -peer way, and you need only access to consensus node when you want to make change to SEL. It makes a lot of sense uh, like as a tra trade-off. Um, uh, with end-to-end -end encryption, you shouldn't be worried that your data can be read by service providers. You can switch service providers. You use several service providers at the same time. All of this for convenience without compromising on freedoms and privacy. Uh, 
Uh, on scalability, in practice, we learned that using DHT, it's distributed hash table. I, I, I guess everyone knows it, but it's uh, always not a good idea on clients. Uh, because when you have many collaborators in the space, peer-to-peer uh, -peer communication could be too demanding for users' devices, especially mobile can get overloaded pretty quickly. Our solution limits connection to a few peers with clients receiving coordination, uh, with clients receiving configuration from coordinators node. It also can be hosted on the blockchain, exactly to make it no one in between. Uh, this approach ensures high speed and consistent, high speed sync and consistency uh, by treating sync nodes as regular always online peers. Uh, we also equipped a protocol uh, with tools for service providers, like hosting providers, uh, to enable auto-scaling and resharding, so making, using consistent and modular hashing algorithms, which are like pretty uh, beautiful solution. So, they, um, uh, so um, yeah, this uh, actually makes infrastructure easier to scale. What's important uh, in scalability that we can host uh, network configuration on the blockchain, uh, and this brings perfect mix of federation and decentralization, hypothetically supporting billions of users. Again, supporting no one in between. Uh, to make it work natively on mobile clients, we've developed a cross-platform library, which is called AnyHard. Uh, it compiles into bytecode and can be used as a local backend by native clients. Uh, essentially, it's a graph database replicable among clients using any sync protocol. Uh, what's cool, it includes almost all business logic, so we don't need to rewrite code for each device. Uh, it saves us some resources, obviously. Uh, all these technical solutions uh, have fueled our tenfold growth in the last year. Uh, while uh, we are very still early in the journey with many significant challenges ahead, our bigger ambition is to build a known in between network to let these independent spaces to interoperate and play positive sum games. We could just build a um, central registry of spaces using a, a classical server or, and the company to operate, but it would create controlling entity, which we aim to avoid. It would not be one, no one in between, right? Uh, and the question which uh, we can ask is, is a permissionless discovery possible, uh, possible uh, without central control? Uh, we think that uh, local first tech blockchain could be a perfect match because you can host only on blockchains where the global consensus is needed, like identities, networking, access control, wide uh, discovery. For everything else, we have a uh, local first. Um, if here I say that uh, we have everything needed uh, to build uh, the centralized super app for creatives, uh, I made up in six years doing uh, another slideshow, uh, perhaps on the topic of over-optimism. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, one, one, one more thing. Um, we have two brilliant engineers in this team, uh, Misha and Alex, please. Uh, yeah, please uh, talk with them. And because it was a really high level topic, uh, so you can know more details uh, because there are some pretty beautiful solutions. Thank you.